Hey everyone, this is the Wargaming Guy, and welcome back to Strategic Command, Churchill's War. Now, for you, it's just been like a few days, but the last time I played this game was on July 30th. <laughs> I got ahead, and I didn't want to get too far ahead, and after the, my crazy schedule, including last week being out of town, well, we're sort of back to the point where now I get to play, and we are facing some huge strategic problems and big decisions. But first of all... Since I do have a couple of reinforcements for the Russians, the ever, you know, on the run Russians here, let's see what we can do. As you can see, we got, I mean, it's just really bad. We're going to put him in Kerch to slow them down. And out here, it's just like, you know, pay your nickel, take your choice. Uh, anywhere you look, we need people. Uh, I am going to put this guy here to let him dig in. I'd rather have him somewhere else, but at this point, <clears throat> that's just the way it's going to have to be. Uh, as you can see, we haven't got much going on in terms of uh, MPPs for the UK. And the Americans aren't in the fight yet. Russians have got a fairly decent amount. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is look at diplomacy, because we have a big problem we're trying to bring the Swedes over on our side to do the northern, the soft head of Europe strategy. Meanwhile, the Turks are about to become a problem if the Germans break through in North Africa. If they cross the Suez, they will roll across the Middle East, roll everything up, and then be able to smash into the, uh, to the Caucasus from the south. And that's going to be a major problem. So we are going to have to... Um, try to get the Turks to move towards us. Uh, and, you know, I just hate to spend this money, but we just don't have any choice. And Sweden, we're down to one on Sweden. So I'm going to wait. You know, I wish this declare war button was over there. Having it right there makes me nervous. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, over here, the Americans who may come in early, thanks to Spain. Uh, they just got all kinds of issues, which is typical for the American forces at this stage of the game. Um, but we are going to need them as strong as we can get them when they come in because... Wait, what? Hold on. I'm not paying attention. Army. Oh, yes, stupid, you have to do that. Duh. Okay, because we, we've got uh, major, huge, gigantically important strategic situations here. With the loss of uh, Gibraltar, it really puts us in a bad spot, and we are not doing well uh, in North Africa at all either. So we've got some issues here, people. Yes, we do. And we're going to have to start buying some units here and building up because if things go the way I'm afraid they're about to go, and you can see here, we're in bad, bad shape. Far worse shape than historically anyone ever was uh, in North Africa. I can't I can't upgrade him. Um, if we lose this, which, you know, this looks even worse than I remembered it, um, we're pretty much almost guaranteed to lose this, then uh, we're in big, big, huge, huge, big trouble. So the question is, what do we do? Well, we've lost Gibraltar. We tried to get it back. We failed in that quite uh, magnificently, I might say. So we're going to, uh, and I know we've got some U-boats up here too. We've got to be careful. Don't want to lose my uh, aircraft carriers to these dang U-boats. But we're going to pull the fleet away from there right now. Might leave somebody down here. In fact, I think I will. Just to sort of poke around and be annoying. But uh, everybody else is pulling back because we are now going to put most of our energies into the Suez area, if we can get there. And Norway. Norway is uh, where we're really going to focus. Uh, I want to pull you back down here by the carrier. I don't like him being out there by himself. And you, my boy, 
are going to get back where you can be strengthened once again. Now, um, this guy I do want to send down to North Africa, but I can't do it. Okay, so I've got... Where is my... There's my transport. Uh, is this what is this? This is my BEF, and here we're getting close. We should be close. No, it's up here. Yes, finally, we're gonna get this transport in here and get him moving down where he belongs. I uh, don't know if we can rail transport him next turn, but I hope we can. So, um, there's not really much we can do here. But we'll slide this guy, why not, all the way down here. And if we attack him, we lose. So let's just try to hit him with air power. Nope. Nope. Okay. What about this guy? I'm not hearing anything in terms of game sound. I wonder why that is. Uh, hmm. Well, I'll check that out next time. I thought I raised it, but I just uh, updated OBS, so there that could be a problem right there. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Not with you, we can't. Let's see. Do we have... Oh, I know what we should be doing. Put him over here. Put you there. Put you over here. Now... Let's pull you guys out and let's get moving. Good. I can get up there. Don't know if it'll do any good, but at least it'll let him know somebody's here. Uh, da -da 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 no destroy us. Okay. Transport, on the other hand. It's going to go wide. Hopefully the sub won't see it. Bring him back up here. He needs to get some repairs done, if possible. Um, oh, a destroyer. Yeah, baby. And let's go ahead and... I don't... Uh, go ahead. Don't really know if a destroyer is going to do much good up there, but it, you know, it couldn't really hurt either. Ah, destroyer. Go let's get you up there. Ah, enemy contact. So we found a sub. Yes, we did, and we get to hurt it. Maybe. Or not. Okay, so you're, yeah, I don't want to. You might be able to do something. Let's see if we can block him. Maybe discourage him. Oh, got a hit on him. And we took one too. Not what I wanted. Um,. I wonder if we could put him anywhere that would allow him to strike. Let's go ahead and pull you up here. We may be sending him to Norway anyway. So we got 126 uh, left for Britain, which buys me pretty much nothing. Um, okay, so now let's go back down here. We haven't even looked at Russia yet either. I'm not quite sure what to do here. We could run, in fact. Operate. Yeah, I hate to spend our money for this, but he's clearly not going anywhere. He needs to be down there. See, I don't think Churchill would actually withdraw, and I... It's August of 41. Dang it, that's such a bad time. But I've got two armor divisions and one infantry army. And I'd have to be out of my flipping mind to just let those go. Um, I don't want to go to the Persian Gulf because it doesn't. Persian Gulf doesn't matter. However, North Atlantic does. I'm pulling out. These guys really can't do anything except die noble and stupid, worthless deaths. So, can I? I can't. 
All right, we're going to have to hope that we can, some of these guys can survive anyway. Let's pull them down there. Just maybe shake them up a little bit. Can I increase you at all? Can I reinforce you? Can I upgrade the town probably, yeah. Oh, man, this sucks. I really am unhappy about this. And I forgot to start my timer, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> Great. Hold on. Does it tell me how long it's been going? Uh, if it does, I can't see it. So never mind. All right. Um, wow. Wow. Dire Straits. People die or dire straits. Let's operate you out of here, too. Hate to do it, but it's got to be done. And that leaves us with the Persian Gulf, where we've got this dude, who I could send forth, but he's going to die. So we're going to pull him back to Basra, where hopefully I'll be able to get him out when I need to do that. And that brings us to the ever- messed up and horribly dysfunctional Russian front. Let's see what we got. Anybody? Nope. That's interesting. Mm hmm. So they're not, so there's probably, no, there's not somebody right there. He should see them. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do is strengthen. Really? I can upgrade them? Oh, I can give him an advanced tankaroo. Okay, wait. Then that means, no, not that. Hey, go away. Research. Ruski research. Okay, good. I've still got that. Um, logistics sucks. Production technology. All right, I'm going to spend that money on that. I really don't want to, but for now it'll do. Um, these guys are just going to get blown away. So let's pull him back here. Pull him back there. I've got nothing but holes in my line. Well, not that far. Um, You, my friend, need to retreat. You over here and fortify and let's rotate you right there meanwhile um let's get in here nope man i can't upgrade these guys it sucks so bad um we'll put you here oh, man i am just in such bad shape it frustrates me. Why can't I put anybody there? I don't. I really don't understand this. I mean, is that part of Finland? It must be part of Finland. Otherwise, I could move in there, and I'm certainly not going to declare war on anybody right now. All right, so that gives me some chance to buy some guys. All right, armies. Purchase. Wait a minute. Did I see? Oh, I did lose a HQ, didn't I? That would cost me 216. Zukov, look at that, 420. Popov. I don't think much of him. No, not right, not right now. Uh, what about, what about, what about mech? Oh, they don't get that. Okay, what about tanks? I can buy one of those. Oof. And I can buy that. Okay, so production. Whoa, we got a lot of guys coming, but we need a lot more. A lot, lot more. All right, so, uh, Wow. <laughs> this is just bad. It's bad. It's really bad, people. But what else can I do? Um, I'll just go ahead and put him there. I would think that would 
extend and cut him off, but maybe not. Uh, you know what? You need to get moving anyway. And let's see. Where's my other? He's seven. He's okay, but let's just pull him out of the way too. All right. Let's see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed, people. Not really, but I'm going to. All right. Oh, yes, here we go. Persia surrenders, only to be captured very shortly because the Africa Corps is coming, sadly. German U-boats. Yeah, that's exactly what we need, more of those. Naval units proceeding to North Atlantic. Okay. All right. Yep. And, ah, very good. Ooh, even better. Yes, finally! Give my infantry something to fight with. Yes, that's the best news the Soviets have had since this whole thing started. Man, it's about time. So here we go. It's juggernaut time. Yep, they're all making their way to Kharkov already. Jeez. We need some bad weather, people. We need early winter. Pray for early winter. <laughs> it may be the only thing that saves our sorry behinds. Have to see about that. Ooh, it's a panther. Well, at least I've got a full strength guy there. September. Ah, pfft. rotten little booger. Telling you, he may be a garrison unit, but he's tough. Ouch, he's not. Okay. Uh oh. Ouch. Ah. Ooh. Holy moly. Ah, uh, oops, I'm afraid. Oh, no, good. He fought them off, and he ran away to a port, which was very smart. Oh, the Spanish are getting a little too big for their britches, aren't they? We may turn some battleships around just because of you, Sonny. Oh, holy cow, that's unbelievable. How did... Man, what is that, the super sub? Yikes, and he's heading my way up there. That's not good. Okay, come on, come on. Ugh. Well, you've had it now, because here comes the infantry. Oh, no, I was wrong. Here comes more armor. I I like the way I look at the way the, uh, the AI tends to use its units, particularly in, in Russia, where the front is so big. It's like it has little hunter killer packs and they they don't stretch they don't you know make a linear line across the Soviet Union but they sort of move in groups and in parallel more or less to each other. Wow. Okay, you fought really well. I'll give you I'll give it up for that. Oh shoot, it's not done yet because they're doing the switcheroony. Please oh man. Please tell me that's it. No. You can't die to a, to a recon unit. You can't die to a recon unit. No, it can't happen. That would be way too embarrassing. Way too embarrassing. So, it's not going to happen. However, he can die to Panzers. So, there's two Panzers there. And there's another one here. It's Panzermania, people. Oh, here's an overstrength veteran unit. Attacking Smolensk head on. Yeah, there we go. They'll be up to Narva probably next turn, unless, ouch, okay, Pskov, or however you pronounce that, is gone. Sakov? I don't know. I have no idea how to say that. So Luga is next. Man. I have got to try to hold on to Leningrad. Leningrad falls. It's really, really ugly in a hurry. Oh, here they come. Oh, he survived. But he'll die now. Kaboom, you're dead. 
So they got the major southern crossing of the uh, Dnieper River. Yep, it's been taken. Got to strengthen Rostov. You guys are going to, they'll be there in a turn or, well, probably two. Golly. Yeah, take that, any tank loser, boys. Take that. This artillery will fight and win. Well, we should probably be really happy we got the dust storms going. It should keep the air off of us. That will help, at least temporarily. Oh, I hate to do this. Man, I just hate to pull the 8th Army out, but there's no way we're stopping them now. I really botched this. Believe it or not, people, I've actually totally wiped out the Africa Corps as the Allied player. But you wouldn't know it from the way I played this one. I got overconfident, I guess. I will say the German AI seems, um, not in Russia, but in other places, a little more aggressive than it has. But then in other areas, like in Norway, it's really pretty much just passive. So who knows? You can't figure out the AI. Oh, good. If they won't push into uh, the Crimea for another turn, I'll be happy with that. The more time we can buy, the better. Waiting for General Mud. That's who we need right now. We need General Mud to make his appearance. And then General frees them to death. Ah, in a port, you. Okay, Velikiluki, or however you pronounce that. Velik, I have no idea. <laughs> I should just give up trying to tr pronounce a lot of these Russian cities. Well, I probably should look them up, but, you know, let's not get carried away here. Um, please tell me that's going to do it. Oh, good. They weren't, they didn't get quite as far as I thought they would in Russia, but I mean, it's far enough. Yeah. Okay. Uh, heavy cruiser, yes. Like Germans are enhancing their naval base at Saint Nazarene. We could attempt to seriously damage this by a bold strike. How much is this going to cost us? Twenty MPPs? Sure, why not? Ah. Okay. See, I wish. Wouldn't it be cool if you could bring these units into North Africa? But you can't because they're trying to actually do something historically accurate. So you actually have to put them somewhere where they actually would have been found, which for the U.S. and for the uh, Canadians means in the U.S. and Canada. What a concept. Ah, uh, yay. Okay. Um... And seems silly, but boy, they can tear across there and just give you all kinds of problems. All right, Staleno, Kharkov. Um, Bryansk. Orel. Let's have you dig in in Vyazma. Put you there. You're not dug in. You're going to die in a hurry, but it's the best I can do. Meanwhile, uh, put you there. And you, we'll just put you up here. So let's do this first. See if we can manage to squeak this out. Transport. Yes. Transport. I don't want to go to the Persian Gulf. Okay. Can we get rid of you? Can you transport? Yes. Dang, it costs so much. And you're going to go here. Which leaves you. Yes. 
All right. And it would be nice to get the HQ out of danger. Which brings us to these guys. I, I, I don't know exactly why I sent them up there, but they need to get through the canal because once the Germans take it, you're not doing that anymore. So, oop, hold on. Oh, hey. There. Fall back to Suez. And we now have been ignominiously defeated in North Africa. And Churchill hangs his head in shame, as well he should. How embarrassing is this? Pretty bad. But all is not lost when the Americans come in. Maybe we can send them to the Suez or through the canal or whatever. Now, can this guy, he can operate. Where can he operate to? Not where I want him, but further than he could move otherwise, so that'll just have to do. Meanwhile, you... Can, oh, rats, man, just barely short of making it. And... Here we go. Let's get a nice, fresh destroyer up here. And do nothing. And he's going to dive. Oh, that rotten little booger. Let's put him there. Got any other destroyers in reach? Maybe. Although we may hit... Yeah. Oh, he's sneaking up the coast. To take a piece out of him. Come on. There you go. Awesome. And let's just put this guy here. To surprise him. Uh, meanwhile, can he reach? Let's take the risk. Oh, nice. Come on. Please. Thank you. I can't do anything. Okay, I'm this guy. Yeah, I messed that up. All right, you. Let's put you down here. I want you to accompany him. And let's see. Whoa, oh. Let's. You know what? I am so irked about that. See if he'll send him out, bump into my battleship. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would like that. Alrighty righty, then. Let's, let's come over here. Let's come over here. And come over here. And don't have time to kill you, but I'd like to. And, oops, he's not going to get as far as I thought he would. Well, let's pull him a little bit. Oh, he can get even closer. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, let's go back over to the U.S. Let's strengthen what we've got here. Reinforce. Max. Okay. Can this guy? Let's upgrade him. If the British can afford it. No, they can't. Reinforce you. And you. And... Good. Okay. Now, um, oh, can't do any more on that. So let's go to the Russians because we can finally 
can we we can't upgrade the ones that are we can't do you Ugh. I can't can I oh I can upgrade this guy good we've got to get our infantry upgraded as quickly as possible but I've got to make sure that uh, I have another infantry weapon level coming along so that takes a big chunk out of me but that's all right that's absolutely critical um speaking of you're gonna need it because boy the germans are gonna hit you like a ton of bricks It's a little tedious when you have to do so many units. I will say that. It's too bad you can't just, like, say, upgrade all or whatever. But you can't, so there you go. Now, this guy, let's pull him down here. Might help these guys fight a little bit. Probably not much, but, it, you know, can't hurt. Unless he gets caught and dies, but, hey. Um, let's put you there. And upgrade. More important than reinforcing you is upgrading you, I think. How much? Oh, I've still got plenty. Upgrade. There we go. Let's get the guy in Sevastopol upgraded. We can fight, 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 I hope, for a long time. And nothing much is happening there. All right. I'm not sure, but I think we should be around 30 minutes. Um, so let me just buy some more Russian units, and we'll call it quits. Uh, okay, we can... This is the Russians. Yeah. And yes, we can get some infantry. Yay. All right. Purchase. All right. And that's it. And again, look at production. Let's see, what is this, September 9th? So we got a lot coming and a lot coming. I like it. All right. Okay, that's going to do it for this one, folks. Uh, tune in again next time where we will see what happens with the strategic mess uh, <laughs> that I've made of this so far. Uh, will the uh, escaping 8th Army in Africa, what will happen to it? What can we do with it? Can we take this? Can we get Sweden to come along with us? Maybe we don't even need them. Maybe we should just attack and try and hold Denmark. Well, we'll find out. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't subscribed, do it. We're so close. We're so close to 100. Come on. Give me a break. I'd appreciate it, anybody. Anyway, he said, blah. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you later.